Gaston was probably, the, for me, the most difficult character to get, I think, ever. Here are some very early sketches of Gaston, and this is what he looked like in the European treatment of the film. He's somebody who wears very expensive, elegant clothes, doesn't want to get dirty, you know, just that kind of a guy. And my first drawings were very villain-like looking, just like in the rough storyboards, too. I drew him with a big jaw, and I gave him a mustache, and Jeffrey Katzenberg said, there's something in the way he looks that isn't quite right yet. And I said, hmm, and what would that be? And then Jeffrey said he's not handsome enough. So I did some drawings in protest, like very straight faces, you know, realistic treatments. And I basically went back to Jeffrey and said, is this what you want? And he said, the story that we're telling with Beauty and the Beast is really don't judge the book by its cover. We have the beast on one hand, and he's frightening and scary. And through the story, you find out he has a heart of gold. On the opposite, you have Gaston, who is very handsome. I know. But you find out he is somebody who's so into himself, and he even becomes a killer in the end. And I remember saying, like, but if I draw him handsome, it's going to be so much more difficult. And Jeffrey said, well, nobody said it was going to be easy, and left the office. And that was it. And I came up with something like this. And when you look at the model sheet like this, he looks a bit like Superman. But at least Jeffrey let me keep the little crooked nose because I thought that gave it a little bit of character. I still found my own fun in the character. You get these somewhat cartoony expressions in After All because they are the, the ones that give it life.